good to have you at uh, the Nexus Tech Talk today. Um, this is uh, Kate DeRosia. She is uh, a serial volunteer in the WordPress space, uh, which is hugely important in any open source project. Um, and she is also the expansion lead at uh, Hero Press. Um, if you haven't been to HeroPress.com, if you don't know about it, please uh, go check it out after you watch this video. Um, it is a great way to get plugged in and get connected with other folks who are uh, experiencing WordPress the same way you are. So Kate, thank you so much for joining us today. Hey, you're welcome. It's nice to meet you, Josh, and thanks for having me. So uh, large communities like WordPress uh, can sometimes be overwhelming, uh, especially for new folks or people who have sort of dabbled and, and want to you know, level up or grow more with their, with their WordPress knowledge. Um, what are some ways um, that somebody who is new or, or wants to get more involved uh, can, can find the right resources and, and make those things happen. Yeah, I mean, you're absolutely right. A lot of people who work online work online for a reason. I mean, I myself am an introvert. And so it's, and I'm not a very technical introvert. So it's been a really interesting dive into a very technical community. Um, and it can be so daunting. And there are so many places you can start. And so it's, it's really difficult to know how to do that. And so one of my favorite tips is to use social media you know, to your benefit here. It gives you the opportunity, you, you go in, do a simple search on whatever platform you like the most. Um, Twitter's a really good one because you get short bits of information without having to be as, as chatty or as active as say Facebook or something like that. And so you can do a lot of social listening to um, see what the people are saying, people who are talking about WordPress, you know, what are they saying? Where are they at? Just kind of follow them and get a feel for them. And as you start seeing what they're talking about, as you find people, you know, that you start making this group of friends that you can then meet up with in real life at WordCamps or, you know, at your local meetup, um, whichever is, is the right fit for you, or even virtual events. It's one of the one of the great things to come out of the pandemic is how easy it is to access communities virtually now and to be able to get into communities that might fit you more comfortably that geography would have kept you out of earlier. So yeah, That's so I'm a huge fan of social media, stalking, just become a stalker and you're all set. Very <laughs> friendly, it, pleasant, happy stalker, you know? Yeah, I would say in a, in a good way. Right. All, all good things. Yeah, that's, that's great. That's great. Um, what's, what's something like if you could go back and, and sort of speak to yourself, right, jump in the, the time machine and, and go tell, you know, early WordPress days, Kate, something, right, give her some advice. Um, what is it that, what, what, you know, what are a couple of things that you might, you know, tell yourself in the beginning or sort of wish you knew when you got started? Yeah, that's a really great one, because that's actually very, like, very true. Um, my early self was very timid, very reluctant to engage because I didn't feel like I really knew anything. And the truth of the matter is that kind of everybody around you feels like they don't know anything. And you don't have to be an expert to be there and to be um, valuable to the community. Everybody has their own special expertise. You have your own experiences. Getting together in a community is about sharing those and learning from one another. So you don't have to know everything, which is great because I never will and nobody neither will anybody else, you know, but you still have something valuable even if you've never picked up a computer. Um, I spent 20 years homeschooling two kids. I learned a lot about, um, you know, running a business and, you know, team management. And, you know, like there's, there's just so many skills that we have that we don't realize. And until we start talking to each other, we don't see the benefit of it. And then, you know, other people don't get to benefit from it as well. Yeah, yeah, I, I would, um, I can only second that as, as being my experience in the WordPress space, somebody that's, you know, dangerously technical or, or sort of quasi technical, right? Um, I sort of have other other things that I, I might be able to bring to the table. And, and I would I would say that the community has been very receptive to that. So that's, it's great to hear. Yeah, and um, I like to think that they make us rich like brownies. I mean, they don't necessarily make us rich in dollars, although that kind of comes down the road. Um, because the more people you start to gather, you know, the more community, like this, this bubble you have, but all of the different nuances to each of us, all the different life experiences that we've had, the different dynamics that we've lived through, they add a depth to the community that gives us a chance to 
be more relatable. It makes it easier for other people to come in because they see themselves in us in different ways. I'm 100% stealing that. Rich, rich like brownies. Rich like brownies. Like the, the decadence that it implies is, uh, yeah. yeah, that's right. That's right up my alley. I love it. Great. I love it. Um, last question. Uh, other than social media, what are some resources or, you know, some spots in the community that you would recommend to, you know, to folks that are, you know, maybe a little less technical or, you know, again, kind of getting started? So, oh. It's hard to say it right now because there aren't any, but in-person events are really important. Um, when you're working online with somebody, it can be really valuable. The five minutes you you spend shaking someone's hand and looking them in the eye and talking face-to-face, -face, it, it matters. So then if you can't do it in person, try to do events like this. Do Zoom calls with people, get involved in events where you can be you know, looking at each other and talking. Um, but also like wordpress.org has a whole get involved section where you can take your technical skills and you can get started helping the marketing team, helping the, you know, just helping answer WordPress questions, helping to build out the next release. I mean, it's, it's really easy. They've got it laid out. It's continuing to grow and improve. Um, and it's a great way to also meet a global community of WordPress users, um, which then opens, you know, every time you meet a new person, it, it's like, it, it's like doubling your advertising budget <laughs> without ever realizing it, you know, I mean, because, because then they're helping to spread the word about who you are too, you know, it's, it's a mutually beneficial relationship that we should all invest more in. Um, meetup.org also has a great list of the local meetups and so you can get involved in your community and what's great now is if you don't have one close to you or you don't like the one close to you because you're not going to like every community you join, you can try out a bunch of them virtually before you have to make a big time commitment or investment in it. Um, That's a great and, one. Yeah. Yeah, because we don't always have a lot of time and community is hard. I mean, we have two kids, we're fortunately at the other end of parenting, but when you've got a family and you've got a job and, you know, even if you're just trying to keep up on the laundry, sometimes it's hard to find those extra days or extra minutes in a day to get out and talk to other people. But it really is the thing that will grow your, grow your knowledge and grow your business the fastest. Yeah, that's perfect. Um... Kate, thank you so much for your time today. This has been a pleasure. You're welcome. It was really great talking with you.